Finally, the update that we have all been waiting for. The Euro Truck Simulator 2 1.50 is out and a lot of people have been asking, is it a good idea to update and go to the Vision 1.5 uh, 1.50 or should you stay on 1.49? Today we're going to be doing some reviews with regards to the 1.50. So we're going to be doing some ratings of what I think of the new changes. So before we continue, let's pause. Don't forget to like and follow us for more videos like this one. We start off with the rendering changes. It's guys, the shadows, I give them 8 out of 10 compared to the 1.49, 1.50, I give that 8 out of 10. Please tell us what you give it. What can you rate it? Uh, the anti-lazing wow, well, make the graphics to look so fine. I also give it 7 out of 10. And also the flares, guys. What you call the dust in South Africa, we give it 8 out of 10, guys. You don't have to be in them in the uh, 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 in the gravel for you to be able to notice this. Also, now everywhere you can be able to notice it. I give it 8 out of 10. And when it comes to the rain, the rain, guys, there's been a huge improvement on the 1.50 with the rain. You can even see the reflexes on the on, on the ground buffet too. I give it 7 out of 10. They can always be improving. Wow. The far shadows. Guys, they've been doing a great job. Um, you should turn them on. You will see a huge difference in the game. The game looks so clean and nice with the shadows on, the far shadows on as well. So I give it 7 out of 10. There we go. The interface, guys, is so new and tricky. But yeah, I give it 8 out of 10 because I'm not used to it. You know, I love the thing that now they wanted to go clean. Not a lot of stuff that are going to be appearing now on your interface. So that's why they did all those changes. So I give it an 8 out of 10 just because of... I'm not used to it yet. But you can tell us what percentage you actually gave it uh, when it comes to the AR uh, interface. Don't forget to leave on the comments. Tell us what you think about the interface as well. Uh, I give it 8 out of 10 for the interface. Okay. The full, um, and there's, they've added a lot of nice features. Because the interface looks so smooth. Um, I won't lie, it is different from what you're used to, but it's something that we can get used to. Wow, Switzerland rework, guys, so nice. I went to Switzerland, I tried to see, but I've noticed that it's been a lot of garages that they've also added around Switzerland. So we're going to be having to drive a lot, guys, around Switzerland to discover this new entirely rework. I give it nine out of ten guys so also don't forget to tell us what you think about the rework germany germany the city of all all of us when we start with the game we start in germany of course we have been waiting for this rework of germany for a long time finally it is here and i give it a nine out of ten guys because there's always room for improvement but if i'm wrong tell us in the comments what you think the scania demo center also as well guys this is a nice 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 rework where we can be able to take company pics you know because it is a huge space where you can be able to take our uh, take pics show us your creativity as well so the world team trailer pack this is a wonderful update that i've done i was also complaining guys this dlc has been costing us a lot was not giving us anything but with the rework i'm giving it six out of ten there's always improvement um when it comes to this trailer pack guys so you guys tell us in the comments what you think about the over ratings guys so if you feel like you have any you feel different from what uh, been saying guys tell us what are your ratings so the two tips guys they've added the new stuff that i'm sure you're gonna be loving um the lane assistance this is the one i love the most guys i give it eight out of ten as we are doing convos no more crashing on each other guys because now we have lane assistance so what's your excuse for you to cause an accident while i'm driving next to you because the lane assistance is there to assist you to keep your truck in check in lane so please do turn on this one 